just got up and I'm gonna get ready for the day and I'm gonna drive home. I was planning on doing like a room tour before I got home, but my thesis was hard, so I decided to just vlog this week. Hello there, so I just stopped at Dunkin'. I got this iced white chocolate macchiato, and my friend who works at Starbucks told me that you're not supposed to mix it up, but I'm very sorry, Bailey. It's just better that way. I also got some food because you're probably starving. I like literally am bringing so much stuff home because I am constantly afraid that I'm gonna be like, oh my god, I didn't bring this home and I should have brought this home because I need it right now. Or like it makes stuff perfect. So I'm an overpacker. But yeah, I've got like a five hour drive, so I'll probably just like check in now and then. So I just stopped at a rest stop. I've been driving for about an hour or so, and it is like insanely raining out right now like it's also very foggy your girl is stressed it's really bad driving condition so i stopped i got my monster mango this is my new favorite drink i think coke is out it's got my evian water because it's just so bougie and so cool this is the conditions i am working with which like very pretty but like when you're going 60 miles an hour that's very bad and not fun wish me luck even though by the time you're watching this i will have already driven home Time is fake, you know? Hello, this is a very bad shot. I'm just gonna talk about what this semester was like for me. This semester was probably the hardest semester at school that I've ever had. I definitely feel like I kicked this semester in the ass, but it fought back. So I took my first ever graduate class. I'm not getting the grades on that until Saturday, so editing me, put in a little thing about how I did. Hi, I literally look disgusting, but I gotta be plus on my paper and A minus in the class, so. But I feel like I did the best that I could. I was worried that I would not be able to do everything that I knew I could, and I was afraid that I was just gonna be like, I give up, but like, I feel like I really fought until the end with that class and made sure that I did the best that I possibly could. I took a craft and poetry class this semester, and Honestly, it was like a fucking life-changing class. I adore my professor. I'm really excited because I have a class with her and an internship with her next semester, and I can't wait to like hang out with her more. She is so nice. In her class, I learned so much, and it's because she didn't bullshit. She knows that like I'm serious about writing, so she gave me really good criticism throughout the semester. I took a French class. I didn't do well. I, I know I didn't do well already. Yeah, no, I got a C plus, which is one of the worst grades I've ever gotten at college, so. Not the worst. I got a C minus in sociology class once, but this is one of two C's that I've ever gotten in college and I have one semester left in undergrad, so. It was hard, it was a lot of work, and I took it because at the beginning of the semester I had a plan to get my PhD after I get my master's in English and then, um, like, so a lot of master's programs want there to be a translation element, so you need to speak a second language, and I've always wanted to learn to speak French. I didn't have the time to, de to dedicate to make the class worth my time, so I just fucked it up big time, and yeah, it just, I feel like that's probably the class that I got the lowest grade in this semester because it just wasn't, I know that I didn't do my best, which makes me feel like shit, but at the same time, it was because I was focusing on my other classes, which are actually relevant to like what I want to do with my life. My other class was my senior seminar, which at my school is basically your kind of like capstone class, and then you write a paper at the end that can be about kind of anything, but usually it relates to the class topic. So my class's topic was like reading technologies and talking about like the development of books and reading throughout time, which was like so fun, and I loved my class. I had some really good friends in there who are also in my four plus one um, grad program which was great, like I fucking love all of them and I'm so glad that like we all became like really close this semester which was amazing. That class was great and the professor, I adore him, he's so great. I wrote my senior thesis for that class, it like isn't a thesis because like undergrad you don't really do one, but it was a hard paper to write. I did a lot of independent research that I think was good and it was so cool to get to do the hands-on research, but I feel like that paper was not my best work, which I feel bad about because I put so much into my Shakespeare paper that I feel like I couldn't put enough effort into this paper as well, which sucks. But at the same time, it's what I needed to do to get a good grade in my grad class, and I don't really regret it, but I do wish that I had spread out the amount of time that I worked on every paper. 
offer during the semester. Like those are the only four classes I took this semester. I'm really excited for the next semester. I feel like my main goal for the next semester is to stay on top of my work. I only have one semester left of undergrad, which is literally just like so fucking insane to me. I think my contact has been inside out all day. It's been kind of bothering me. I have the one-a-days, which is great because I lose contacts, but it's bad because they're really flimsy and so they get fucked up all the time and I just cannot tell that they are fucked up until I've been wearing them for a while because sometimes they're just uncomfortable and sometimes I wear them inside out four hours before I notice and I drive for two hours and then realize that my contact is bothering me because it's actually inside out so I love that look for me I literally my hair looks so blonde today and I don't know why because I haven't dyed it again since the first time that I dyed it blonde also I got another energy drink this time I got Red Bull because they didn't have my flavor. Oh my god, look, there's a little bowl on, like a little bowl on the tab thing. That's so cute. Oh, that tastes nasty. That tastes real bad. Oh wow, I hate that. Okay. Somehow it tastes powdery. Oh well, I'm gonna drink it anyways. That's it for this stop. I've got about two hours or so till home. Probably gonna stop at least one more time because I gotta stop constantly because I'm a sleepy, sleepy gal and I have to pee all the time. I still haven't drank any of my water and I also got some spicy chips, so maybe this will not chips or chips mix. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I'm not making sense. So here's something super fun that I do while I'm driving alone. My car is a 2000, like she is an old woman. I love her to death. I can't play like my own music unless I have it on a CD in this car. So if I get tired of the CDs in my car, like I am very tired of everything I have in right now, I'll just put on the radio. But the thing is like when you're driving, um, long distances obviously like this is like a five-hour drive I don't have the radio station so I just kind of like flip through them and see if there's any bopping tunes so we're just gonna find out what is good in this general area of New York oh god no commercial tell me something oh my god my housemates do like a bit I'm gonna put in the bit but like literally they just they make fun of this song constantly so I like can't even take this seriously anymore I haven't seen A Star Is Born I'm sure it's great but like I cannot take this song seriously Is there something In all the good times I find myself longing for the So gay when I was a kid that like I hated Justin Bieber and like I couldn't figure out why. My was like he's so cute and I was like he's annoying and it's because I was just being gay and I was annoyed that everyone was like so obsessed with him. Perhaps I was jealous. Anyways. Oh god I hate Cheesy. I love Halsey to death. I met her in 2015. The day before my high school graduation. I was almost late to my graduation rehearsal because my train was running late. So I almost didn't walk a high school graduation because I met Halsey. But it's like so funny. So like here, here's a picture of me and Halsey. But yeah, I love her. I hate G Easy. Why am I literally doing the like weird dance from the Princess Diaries? Why can't we have some Christmas bops? Like, why is all of this bad? Nope. Oh, here we fucking go. Oh, come on, I gotta get in here at the end. Can we get a next movement, please? All right, so I just stopped for hopefully the last time 
got a little over an hour and a half until I will be home. But I got my hopefully last energy drink of the road trip. One of my professors emailed me and told me that there's an assignment that I didn't turn in because uh, it was due like right when my grandpa died and I just was like not doing this. And he emailed me about it like a week after it happened and I just... <laughs> didn't see the email like I just do the thing where I mark emails as read so I did not respond to the email and he just like went in the email thread and was like hey just so you know this is dropping your grade from an A to a B plus so like if you want to submit it tonight you can or I can give you an incomplete and you can just do it later which is like literally so nice like the fact that it was it was due in October and he's emailing me now to say that I can do it now which is like I fucking love him he's such an understanding kind person and I'm so glad that I took a class with him and I hope that I take more classes with him because he's a grad professor. Um, this was in my senior seminar class, so when I get home, I have to do homework. <laughs> I also have to resend him my work site because I realized that I, uh, or like my paper, he, I don't think he's realized this yet, but I realized that when I'm writing my paper, I just put, instead of my actual in-text citations, I just put like parentheses and placeholders. So I cited like a bunch of stuff from like the Encyclopedia Britannica and instead of putting my citations in parentheses, I just wrote in cite, cite, in cite, clopedia, cite, clopedia, in cite, clopedia instead, which is not a word and also is not what the source was. So I'm just gonna send him both of my assignments at once. <laughs> We're out here, kids. Okay, I'm on my way home now. Hopefully I'll be home soon. We're out here. I don't know why Thinking you could live So it is currently pouring rain. I have like these weird rain streaks on my face. Like there's nothing wrong with my skin. It's just reflection from that. But yikes, um, I look so tired and <laughs> so gross. And I pulled off the throughway because it was literally raining so hard. Like it just suddenly started raining ridiculously hard. It was kind of sprinkling. It stopped for a while, but now it's like pouring again. And I like saw the sign for this exit and then suddenly I could not see like 10 feet in front of my car. So I pulled off and I'm at this like random gas station thing. So I got another mom. Monster. They had my favorite, but I decided to try this other one because why not? This literally tastes so good. I'm so hyped. It's the Pacific Punch flavor. It tastes like Hawaiian Punch, like the stuff that you would get at parties when you were a kid. I also almost killed my fish. The cup has my fish in it, and it had that tissue on top of it, but one of my energy drink cans fell into the fish thing, but Hamlet's fine. He just hates this little mini tank guy. Hamlet would rather die than be in his travel mug because this morning I literally was trying to get him out of his tank and he almost... He beached himself in the rock so that I couldn't get him in the fucking cup. And I was like, dude, would, is this worth dying for, Hamlet? Is this worth it? Okay, the energy drinks are really making me loopy, but I think it stopped raining quite as hard. So I'm gonna make another attempt to go. Unsure about how that's gonna happen, but only an hour to home, so I'll just drive really slow and be fine. <laughs> So I'm finally home. I've been home for like half an hour. I got Hamlet back into his tank. He's fine. He survived. So I'm just waiting for my mom to get home. My dad just went and picked up our, or he's picking up our Chinese food for dinner. So I'm like, yes, I'm home. It's so great. <sighs> so my mom stopped and picked up my brother's dog on her way home. So now I'm taking her for a little walk. Come here. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. What are you eating? Hi. Goodbye. Goodbye. We're out of creamer, so I guess I have to put whipped cream in my coffee. I have to. Got the comfiest blanket. Harry Potter's on TV. And I've got the cutest little holiday mug. I'm so happy right now. So I forgot to um, film an outro last night, but basically I think I'm gonna also vlog today because I'm like doing some things with my friends. He's guarding me. Marco. <laughs> Who's that, Marco? Look, it's you. Oh my god, this mask looks ridiculous, but I just got an A on my thesis. Did I get an A, Marco? I just got ready and I am now on my way to my friend Abby's house. I'm really excited. I haven't seen my friends since like the summer? Wait, that can't be right. 
Oh my god, I literally haven't seen them in like months. Oh, I'm really excited to see them because I love them to death. This is like my group of friends from home. Home. There was snow on my jacket and now it's on my butt and I gotta go. my grade for my Shakespeare class and I got an A minus which I honestly was really not expecting like I thought I was gonna get like a B or at best like a B plus so I'm really glad that the effort I put in was recognized even if it my idea still needed work I just didn't know where to go with them and I think that he saw that I like <laughs> put in effort and tried a lot and was good in class and stuff so that's really good I'm really happy about that I'm exhausted honestly that's what I'm feeling after the last like week i am so fucking tired so if you stayed at this point in the video i think i'm gonna do a thing now where i say like a question and then you can answer it in the comments <laughs> this is my glee post that i got in seventh grade cute my question for today is what is your favorite winter tradition it can be like a holiday thing or just i don't know going sledding or something i don't know what's going on anymore i haven't slept well in weeks I am going to go sleep hopefully very well. This morning I woke up at like 9 a.m. because my body hates me. So hopefully I can sleep in tonight and I can wake up and make like a good breakfast and all that fun stuff. I'm just like hitting this hair tie on the bed because I am with it. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way to this point in the video, you should definitely subscribe because my other videos are a lot like this one. So you will probably like them. So thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.